Putting trances Going all to different places, different planets Got your aura past me by losing balance What if we Hey besties! It's Siobhan Shalon, the girl with the regular house, the regular car, the regular job, and the regular life because I ain't rich yet. And since I ain't rich yet, I'm going to continue to save a coin. And when I save a coin, I'm going to help y'all save a coin and I'm going to show y'all how I do it. So today we are doing a DIY and I'm going to show y'all. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all shop at Pottery Bond because Pottery Bond is really 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 popular right now and pottery bond also have a lot of nice items they really do i shop at pottery bond but not like that i might catch something on sale if i really really like it and get it pottery bond is really expensive kind of too expensive for me but if i see something i like in pottery bond i'm gonna always try to make it i'm gonna always see if i can make it so i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all seen this i'll pop it up on the screen and it is the faux pompous grass shadow box wall art i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen it it's really really nice when i seen it it caught my eye I loved it so this item was $1.99 and it's on sale for $1.59 which is still a little bit too high for me because like I tell y'all I ain't rich yet so I needed two of them so if I needed even at $1.59 that's $1.60 that's $3.20 for two I wasn't paying it I, I ain't doing it I ain't gonna do it so I went and I made it so I'm gonna show y'all how to make it so like I said, they're on sale right now for $160, and you can make one for under $50. And if y'all are interested in learning how, keep watching. So all you need for this is a few things. The main thing you need is your shadow box. This is the, the encasement that the um, you can put your pompous grass. You can put pompous grass. You can put like feathers. You can put whatever you want to put inside of it. But you will need this. This is a shadow box. I got this shadow box from Amazon, and it is linked in a, linked in a description box in my Amazon storefront. Okay, so to make this, you will only need a few items. And like I said, to make one of these, it's under $50. And you can probably do it for even cheaper depending on what you want to put inside of your shadow box. Like if you want to put, I have this pompous grass that I got from TJ Maxx and it came with five, it came with five of these, but I already made two, one for TikTok tutorial and I made another one um, for $14.99. I paid $14.99 for this and it came with five. So you can go to Michael's, you can go to Hobby Lobby, depending on how much you pay, for your, um, whatever you want to put inside of it or whatever type of color you want to put inside of it. That'll determine how much you'll pay for everything. But this is the most important thing you'll need. This is a shadow box. This shadow box is a 10 by 20 because the space I need for this to go in, it fits perfect. You can get it bigger, you can do smaller, you can do whatever size you want to do. But this is a 10 by 20. I thought this was perfect for the space I need. So this is how it looks. It looks exactly like the Pottery Bond one. It has the linen inside. So... I'm just going to take this out. This is the back of it. Make sure you put this at the top so you can hang it. This is the top. It only have one. It don't have one at the top and bottom. So you're going to just turn this over. And you're going to undo the little latches. I already undid a lot of these because I used this one already to do the tutorial. Undid. Is that a word? I undid. Y'all know what I'm saying. This is how the inside of it looks. It's linen. It looks exactly like the one from Pottery Bond. Nothing different. I have high glue on this one because, like I said, I use it already. But this is really, really easy to make. It don't take no time to make. I'm going to put these in my bathroom, and I'll do a separate video of the bathroom once I start decorating from, um, we just did a, I guess, like a bathroom renovation. So everything is complete. So all I have to do is decorate it. I'll do a separate video of that. Y'all, these things were beautiful. When I seen them on Pottery Barn website, I was like, this is beautiful. But I wasn't paying $200. I'm not paying $160. I ain't paying $100. So, this is what I do. When I see something I like, I automatically go to how can I make it? Or how can I... Um, if I can make it and it come out, comes out cheaper, because sometimes some things you just can't remake, you'll end up spending more, so it makes more sense to buy. But this specific item is perfect. You say so much, more than half, way more than half. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take whatever pompous grass you want to use. You're going to measure it against the shadow box. You want some stem at the bottom, so you do want to leave some of the stem. I want mine to go all the way to the top, but not to where it's too long to where it's creasing inside the seam. So you're just going to measure that. And then I have another one over here that I made, so I want to make sure this one is even. 
okay? So once you have that measured, you want to go ahead on and cut your stem. With these stems, you have to kind of use the scissors and then break it because you can't really cut it with the scissors. So you want to do as much as you can with the scissors and then you'll just break the rest by hand. And like I said, depending on which ones you get because all of them are different, you may be able to cut whatever ones you decide to use as much as you can. So I'm going to measure it here. And also, whatever you, whenever you glue it, you want to glue the stem and this little stick right here at just the bottom of it. You don't want to go all the way up because you don't want the feathers to start sticking. So we're gonna measure that, and also you're gonna have, you might have to cut your your feathers or your pompas, whatever you want to call it. Like I have to cut mine because it's a little bit too long. So you want to kind of cut it into a V a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. So I'm gonna just go and cut this kind of like on an angle and this also have a stem in it. So I might wanna get some good scissors. I cannot keep scissors around here because my daughter, like she just eat the damn scissors. I don't know what the hell she do with the scissors. This is gonna make a little bit of a mess. So I wanna cut that. Still a little bit too long. Like I said, I don't want it to fold over. So let's see. Okay, and that should be perfect. So you want to make sure you blow all of the excess little hairs off, feathers, whatever you want to call them. Especially um, inside of the shadow box. You don't want those just hanging around. Loose feathers, loose hairs, whatever you call them, just hang around. Okay, so now that I have everything measured, I'm gonna spread it out however I want it, which you can play around with that once you glue it because you, you're not gonna glue the actual hair, the feathers. You just wanna glue the stem, and you kinda wanna cover the stem up in the middle. So, I'm gonna cut that a little bit more. And also, where I cut this at, I'm going to glue it with the hot glue gun because I don't want it to unravel. And like I told y'all, this was one I used already, so it do have some um, glue on it, but that's fine because I'm going to cover it up once I put this one on. Yeah. You know, this dog's so jealous, he don't want me doing nothing if it don't include him. Nothing. Y'all hear some whining in the back. That's my little nitty baby dog back there. So I'm spreading that out a little bit more. I want them a little wild, so I'm gonna kind of leave them so I can have the wild look. And then, like I said, I'm gonna glue the stem down. And you don't have to use a whole bunch of glue because this stuff stick, y'all. It's really good. And also, I don't know if y'all know, but I got these glue sticks from Dollar Tree. If y'all know me, Dollar Tree is my store, y'all. That's my jam. I'm very cheap, a frugal, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to always go to Dollar Tree and Walmart and stuff like that to see if I can find things before I actually like go on Amazon and buy. So, I'm always um, press a bit. And that's how I find deals and save myself some money. And also, I'm very crafty. Like, I like making stuff. Like, this is fun to me. Like, I like doing this type of stuff. So, that's another thing. Now, some stuff, you can't do everything over. Some stuff, you just have to suck it up and buy it. Either you want it or you don't. You can't make everything. But a lot of stuff, you can. And it will save you some money doing so. Okay. So, you want to let that dry. I'm not going to really let it dry too long because I'm kind of impatient. So y'all don't be like me, but after you glue it, this is what you have. It looks like this. And like I said, you want to let that dry a little bit, but I'm not. Just go ahead on and put it straight on. You're going to turn it over. And then, like I said, make sure your latches at the top. 
because you'll be taking it out again. So you want to turn that over and just close your latches. And look at that, that was so fast. And it's done. And this is what you have. Like I said, you can use any kind of poppers grass, depending on how you want it to look, you can use any color. I chose this um, beige cream off white color because that's what goes with the design I'm doing and my house decor. So that's it, y'all. I think it came out really good. And like I said, I did two of these, so I paid 90 to 100 bucks for everything. I already had a hot glue gun. Um, glue sticks and all of that stuff. So like I said, I'm going to link the shadow boxes down below in my Amazon storefront. You can get these from anywhere. I recommend Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby always have a sale. Um, even you can go to you can go to Michael's. Michael's always have a coupon online. Sometimes it's 20% off. Sometimes it's 25. Sometimes it's 30. Um, you just never know. So this is the end product, y'all. This is my other one I made. So I have two of them. And I think they came out pretty good. So if y'all try these, y'all let me know how they came out, how they turned out. If y'all need have any questions y'all want to ask, you can comment down below and ask whatever questions, I'll answer them. But this is how you can save yourself some money, y'all. Everything that look expensive don't have to be expensive. But anywho, I hope y'all found this helpful. I hope y'all enjoyed the video.